People don't seem to understand that we have agreed that if we don't meet certain targets, we will consult with the IMF. That takes the matter no further. We consult with the IMF every year. Every year as a member, there's an Article 4 consultation and a staff visit. So there are two visits per year. We've said, if we don't meet the targets, you, Mr. IMF, can analyze why you think we haven't, and you can suggest to us what we might do to uh, meet the targets the following year. Again, they do that every, every year. They come and they say, you have met this target, you have met that target, and they suggest what ought to be done uh, to meet the targets the following year. I'm not suggesting that we will simply ignore whatever advice the IMF will choose to give. All I'm telling you is that our agreement in the context of this uh, last renegotiation, that we will publish what the IMF says, that we will consult with them, represents not an iota, not one whit of change from what currently obtains. So basically we've given up nothing in terms of what was the original demand of the creditor committee, that we enter into an IMF standby arrangement, which is what I have sworn to the Belizean people will never happen for as long as I am here.